How's everybody doing? Um, this is Shane, otherwise known as the Rusty Spigot. Um, I guess first I'll tell you guys, because I've had a lot of people been asking me lately, why the Rusty Spigot? Well, I started thinking, trying to think of something clever, because of course in business you need something that's catchy and clever. And I thought about, I was, I think I was watering my garden, and the spigot was, it's old and stuff, but it still, you know, gave me what I needed. It gave me the water I needed. So I thought, you know, as rusty as that spigot is, it still does its job. And then I was like, oh my goodness, love that. So that's where it came from. Um, I've been asked to grow my content on the channel, so I'm going to try this live video because I'm not real good at editing. Um, because I'll wind up saying, no, I don't look good in that. I don't look good in that part. I don't like the way I talked in that one. And the whole video will be edited out. So we're not going to do that. So first, um, we're going to talk about, um, on this channel, we'll do some of my gardening, um, some cooking, some dealing with a lot of kids. Because I do have 10 children, 8 still live at home, but I am nowhere near the perfect mother. So you'll get to see some of that too, probably. Probably in the next few seconds, someone will be banging on my door. Um, and we'll talk about the woodworking um, business that my husband and I have started. Um, first, we'll get into seeds because I don't know about you gardeners out there, but that little taste of that warm weather yesterday got me so pumped for spring and summer. Um, I get my seeds. Sometimes I confess if I'm in the Dollar Tree or Walmart and I see seeds, I buy them. I can't help it, I know. But I really like to get seeds from Baker Creek when I can afford it. Um, you can get a free catalog from Baker Creek at rareseeds.com. They're out of this 2019 seeds, y'all, but they'll take your name and address to send you to 2020 in December. Um, but you can buy the whole seed catalog, which I'm hoping to get to eventually. I just haven't been able to afford to do that yet. Um, but this is where I get my seeds from if I can do it. Um, I've been gardening. I've always tried to plant stuff. Let me just tell you. Um, but in truth, about three years ago, um, I really, really, really decided I wanted a tomato to taste like a tomato. And I wanted to do all these things with fresh fruits and vegetables. And so I started watching um, YouTube. Uh, which, by the way, is an amazing outlet for learning things. Um, and it kind of, a few of the YouTubers inspired me to do more. So I'm only like three years into full on really trying to grow food. And I have made more mistakes than I've grown vegetables, let me tell you. But I don't make the same mistake twice, usually. Um, last year, my, my Roma tomatoes... That thing looked like a tree. There were tomatoes everywhere. We ate tomato. Me and the kids would go outside. We'd eat tomatoes every day, all the time. My jalapenos were amazing. I still have jalapenos in my freezer. My Tabasco peppers, they went. They overwintered. I still have Tabasco plants outside to this day. Um, my bell peppers is where I, I messed up. They were they were like this big. Like, seriously, they were the tiniest little bell peppers. I don't know what I did wrong. So I'm going to try to do better on bell peppers this year. Um, and cucumbers came late. Maybe they're supposed to. Like I said, three years. This, this will be my fourth year gardening. Um, but we got what we did get was yummy. So one good thing this year is, is my husband gained me three times the space I had last year. Because he enjoyed eating those tomatoes and those jalapeno peppers fresh on his tacos. Um, so now I have three times the space and I would show you today, but in South Louisiana, it's doing what South Louisiana does best and it's pouring down raining outside. Um, so I'm just going to show you what seeds I bought this year. Um, I bought these cool Brad's Atomic Grape Tomatoes. They're actually on the cover of last year's catalog and I'm really wanting to try these because I just love tomatoes. Um, I'm trying Amish paste because I am going to try to make some tomato sauces and stuff this year and can. And then I love to just eat tomatoes, wash them, slice them, put some salt and pepper on them and sit down and eat them. So I'm going to try these, um, German pinks just because they really looked big in that lady's hands. <laughs> what a way to choose a tomato, huh? Um, 
Let me see. Let me get to, I'm going to try to do all these vegetables. Carrots. I have had no luck growing carrots. I'm trying again this year. Deep South Homestead told me to try these Danvers Half Longs. So I'm trying them. We're going to see. Um, squash. I have grown beautiful squash plants and never been able to eat a squash. We're going to try again this year. Beans. Green beans do not make it into the house at my house. My kids play outside. They see a bean. They pick it. They eat it. Uh, my mother-in-law tells me, you're never going to have a mess of beans. No, because my kids mess with my beans and eat them. But that's okay. I'm not going to complain. They could be asking for candy. I'm going to try onions, which I've never tried before, but we're going to try. And I got these um, white Creole because I'm Cajun, so I'm going to try Creole to onions. Um, now my most favorite thing to grow in the world are peppers of all kinds. So let's see. I'm going to see. First, I got jalapenos. Grew them last year. Fine. Um, Tabasco peppers. They grew, like I said, I have two plants out there that are overwintered, but because I'm not sure how they're going to do producing... I bought more seeds. Um, these Thai red chilies, I couldn't find the ones that Kay at the Late Bloomer Show um, YouTube channel did, so I got these to try these. Um, I just like the way these look, and I've never grown them before, so I'm trying those. These lemon spice jalapenos, I cannot remember what YouTuber turned me on to these, but I'm, I'm, I thought they'd be pretty. If nothing else, they would be pretty. Um, and then we're going to try poblano peppers. Because I like to eat those. And I'm going to try these bell peppers. And God willing, I can grow them. Then I'm going to do sunflowers because my kids and I grew sunflowers one year. And we actually roast, like, baked them in the oven and ate them. And that was another cool, cool snack. And Baker Creek sent me free, which I love how they do that. And they just pick. So it might be something I wasn't even thinking of growing. These black Vernays tomatoes. I'm going to try those. And they sent me... Cinnamon basil and bee balm lemon, which I don't have. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to grow some more milkweed. I, I grew some last year. I didn't get any butterflies, but I'm trying again. And another thing Kay did from Late Bloomer Show, check out her YouTube, and Living Traditions Homestead, check out their YouTube. They both grew gourds, um, uh, loofah gourds. And they used it for cleaning, and they used it for um, all different kind of things. So I'm going to try that because I have some spots that I can just, you know, let it grow. Um, so that's it for the seeds. Um, excuse me one second. I'm not answering the door for a reason. Told you somebody was going to come knocking. Um, and lastly, I was, um, told you that I would tell you about the woodworking business my husband and I have been doing. And it's been doing pretty good. We just make, like, home decor from found wood. Um, we don't buy new wood. We use pallets. Now, when people say pallets, a lot of times they think just the plain old pallet. But you can find pallets of all shapes and sizes if you just look around. Um, we're talking pallets with 4 by 4s 2 by 4s 1 by 4s He's got a pallet out there that I'm not exaggerating, y'all. That piece of wood, that plank on it is this. It's huge. So, we do that. Plus, we take old furniture that maybe is broken or somebody doesn't care for it anymore, and we revamp it. We paint it. We fix it. We make it something new. Turn kitchen cabinets into a coffee counter. You know, things like that. And it's been doing really well. I'd like for it to do better, of course. But, um, you know, like this is an example. I made a bathroom sign out of some old wood. Um, somebody gave me a bunch of keys. Some old keys. So, I, my husband bent them. And made a key rack you know and then this is old fence board and just some stuff i picked up at the dollar tree so just things like that and we'll try to bring you more of that if i i just had surgery so i'm not really been building or painting anything but when i get back into it i will definitely bring you guys along to to build the content like i was asked to do um if you have any questions for me um just drop it in the comment box and i'll be sure to get back to you as soon as i can um you can join our Facebook group called The Rusty Spigot on Facebook. And um, you can follow me on Instagram, Shane Winters. Um, I believe it's Shane Elena is the at. Um, all right, guys. I hope this was what people <laughs> wanted when they asked me to tell me more about yourself. Um, y'all have a good day. Happy gardening. And I look forward to showing y'all these seeds when I start sprouting them. Thanks.